So here we have winged sumac. Winged because it has these little uh, these little wings uh, along the along its uh, along its long leaves. Um, this is a great little plant, one of our sumacs. It spreads uh, clonally. It's not as big as some of the other ones, but very tolerant of a wide variety of conditions. Uh, the fruits, this one's already flowered and is forming fruits. You can make um, out of many of the sumacs, of course not poison sumac, but you can make uh, sumac aid, like a lemonade substitute. You put in the fresh berries, you put them in uh, cold water, leave them there 15 or 20 minutes, depending on how strong you want it, and then you sift it through a handkerchief or through a coffee filter to get rid of some little hairs that you might be able to see which are on here. Uh, some people don't like those. And you get something that's very, very uh, much like lemonade. You can add as much sugar as you want or whatever to it. Um, but birds, of course, are the real ones to eat this. So it does spread colonially um, by, by roots, but it can form nice little colonies and patches. But it also spreads by fruit. And these fruits now are going to stand, um, because they're not always the absolute favorite food, these fruits are going to stand on the tree quite a long time, which means that they're very important wintertime food when a lot of the uh, other regular food sources are gone. This is the emergency food that the birds um, really, really need, uh, and sometimes mammals too. So again, winged sumac, uh, one of our, you know, one of our um, mid-size sumac shrubs, a colonial species that's very deserving of uh, of for naturalizing, very adaptable. Um, and different areas as a really good wildlife plant.